Hi guys, and in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make this super cute little bunny. It is super simple to make and it works up really quickly and is a really nice size for a present or a custom make. This pattern was designed and made by Dasha Crochet with Love. Please do check out her Instagram and show her some support. And there you can find the written pattern for this free bunny. Don't forget to like and subscribe and feel free to leave any comments of future tutorials you'd like to see. And let's get started. For this tutorial, you're going to need some scissors, a four millimeter crochet hook, stitch markers, yarn needle, to save the eyes, chenille chunky yarn in different colors, pins, and some toy stuffing. So we're gonna start with our head. For the head, we're gonna start with eight single crochets in a magic ring. So how I do my magic ring is I grab my yarn color of choice, and I'm gonna wrap it around these two fingers twice like so. I'm going to hold it as tight as I can, not too tight that you can't get under it and wiggle it about a bit. But you want to keep it firm so it doesn't come loose. I'm going to go under these first two loops and I'm going to grab my yarn and pull through. Again, I'm going to do the same, go under this yarn again and pull through to form a loop. So this is just a starting chain. This isn't going to count as a single crochet within our magic ring. I'm going to go back under these two loops pull through and I now have two loops on my hook and I'm going to single crochet as normal. So that is our first single crochet within our magic ring. I'm going to carry on creating single crochets under our loops in our magic ring until I get our total of eight. So I've got one, two, three, four so far, five, six, seven, and eight. Once we've got our eight single crochets in our magic ring, we then want to close it. So I'm gonna pull on one of the tails to release it and then pull again to close. And that's gonna make our magic ring nice and tight. And then I'm gonna grab our stitch marker and place it in this last stitch closest to our hook, like so. And that is gonna mark for our next round where we are going to end so that we don't lose track. So for the next round, round two, we're going to do eight increases. So an increase is two single crochets into each stitch. So in the first stitch, I'm going to do two single crochets. So there's one and another one, two. And we're gonna repeat that into each stitch. So we're going to do two single crochets into each stitch. That's gonna take our total up to 16. Round three, we're gonna alternate between single crochet and increase eight times. So in the first stitch, we're gonna do one single crochet, and then in the next, our increase, so two single crochets. And we're gonna keep going, one single crochet, and then two. And this is gonna take our total up to 24. So ending on an increase, we should have a total of 24 stitches after round three. Round four, we're gonna do the same, but we're gonna do three single crochets before we do our increase. And we're gonna repeat that six times. So we're gonna do three single crochets in the next three stitches. And then we're gonna do our increase in the fourth stitch. And we're gonna repeat that three times. 
So three single crochets and then I'll increase. For round five, we're going to start off by doing two single crochets and then an increase. So two single crochets and then an increase in the third stitch. Then we're going to be doing four single crochets and an increase five times. So four single crochets and then an increase. And we're going to repeat that four more times. After our last increase, we should have two single crochets left. So in the last two stitches, we're just gonna do a single crochet. And we should have a total of 36 stitches at the end of round five. Round four, we're going to do four single crochets and an increase. So four single crochets. And then our increase. We're then going to do eight single crochet and an increase three times. So eight single crochets, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then we're going to do an increase in the next stitch. And then we're going to repeat that two more times. So eight single crochets again. And then our increase and one more time, eight single crochets and then an increase. And then we should be left with four single crochets at the end. One, two, three, and four. We should now have 40 crochet. We should now have 40 stitches in total. For the next six rounds, we're just going to do one single crochet into each stitch. So we're going to keep our total of 40 stitches for the next few rounds. So round seven, round seven to 12 will just be 40 single crochet. So I'll meet you back at the end of round 12. Now we've finished our six rounds of 40 single crochets and we've just finished our last round of round 12. Round 13 is going to be four single crochets. So one, two, three, four. And in the fifth stitch, we're going to do a decrease. So we're going to work into this stitch here. We're going to grab our yarn. But before we do a single crochet, we're going to work into the next stitch as well and pull up. And we should have three loops on our hook now. And then I'm going to grab this loop and pull through all three. And that joins those two stitches together to start to decrease our stitch count. So we're going to do 
eight single crochets now before I decrease. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're going to do a decrease again. So going into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through. With the two loops on our hook, we're going to go into the next stitch, pull through, and I'm going to yarn over and pull through all three. And that is our decrease. So we're going to repeat eight single crochets and a decrease two more times. And our last decrease and then we should be left with four single crochets and after decreasing we should be left with a total of 34 single crochets we're going to do something similar we're going to keep decreasing we're going to do two single crochets and then a decrease so again working in one stitch pull through into the next Pull through and join them together right through all three then we're going to do four single crochets and a decrease five times and then we should be left with two single crochets at the end so four single crochets and a decrease and we're going to keep doing that all the way around And then at the end, after our four single crochets and decreases, we're going to be left with two single crochets at the end. Round 15, we're going to do three single crochets and a decrease. And we're going to repeat that six times to get our total down to 24. So all the way around, we're just going to do three single crochets and then our decrease. Round 16 is going to be our last round of the head. We're going to do one single crochet and then a decrease. We're then going to do two single crochets and a decrease five times and then end with a single crochet. So two single crochet and a decrease. We're going to repeat that four more times until we get all the way around. And we should have one single crochet left. So that should bring our total to 18 stitches. We're then finished. And now we're going to join our safety eyes on. And also we're going to finish off. So cut your yarn, leaving a long tail for sewing. 
onto the body for later. And then we're going to grab our safety eyes and place them between rounds 10 and 11. Approximately six stitches apart. Like so. Once you're happy with the placement, we can then Once you're happy with the placement, we can then add the safety backs and secure them in place. And then we're going to stuff it. Now we're going to work on the legs and it's going to merge into the body before the legs. We're going to start with eight single crochets in our magic ring again. For round two, we're going to do again eight increases so an increase in each stitch to take our total up to 16 From rounds three to six, we're just going to do single crochet into each stitch. So we're going to keep our stitch count at 16. So I'll meet you back at the end of round six. So once we've finished our uh, three rounds of 16 single crochets, we should have something like this. For the first leg, we're going to um, fasten off. However, we're going to repeat that again for the second leg, but this time we're not going to fasten off. So I'll meet you back at the end of the second leg. So once we've finished our second leg, we're not going to fasten off. We're going to carry on and we're going to join the two legs together. Firstly, we're going to chain two and then join the second leg to the first leg. Place your stitch marker where we've just joined it. And then we're going to work our way around both legs. So round seven will be 16 cro single crochets around the first leg, two single crochets in the middle bit, and then 16 around the second leg. Um, so we should have a total of 36 single crochets at the end of round seven. So we're just going to be working our way around both legs.
For the next three rounds, we're just going to keep our stitch total at 36 and do a single crochet into each stitch. So I'll meet you back at the end of round 10. Once you've finished round 10, round 11, we're going to do 10 single crochets and a decrease three times to get our total down to 33. So we're going to do 10 single crochets. and a decrease and we're going to do that two more times Round 12 will be nine single crochets and a decrease again three times and that's going to take our total down to 30. Round 13, we're going to do eight single crochets and a decrease three times to take our total to 27. Round 14, we're going to do seven single crochets and a decrease three times to take our total to 24. For the next two rounds, rounds 15 and 16, we're just going to do a single crochet into each stitch. So our total should remain at 24. So for the next two rounds, we're going to do 24 single crochets. So I'll meet you back at the end of round 16.
For round 17, we're going to do six single crochets and a decrease to get our total down to 21. For rounds 18, we're just going to do 21 single crochets. And for the last round, round 19, we're going to do five single crochets and a decrease three times to get our total down to 18. And then we're going to fasten off and stuff it. Don't worry about leaving too much of a tail because we've got the tail from the head that we're going to use to sew it on. And we're just going to gently stuff it as firm as you like, making sure you get it all the way down to the end of the legs. You can stuff it obviously beforehand as we go, but I just forgot. <laughs> but at least it's got a big enough hole that we can stuff it anyway. Next, we need to make the arms. So the arms are going to start with six single crochets in a magic ring. Round two, we're going to do two single crochets and an increase two times to get our total up to eight. Round three, we're going to do three single crochets and an increase again twice to get our total up to ten. Round four, we're just going to do 10 single crochets. Yeah. 
Round five, we're going to do three single crochets and a decrease two times to get our total back down to eight. And the next two rounds, round six to eight, well that's three rounds actually, are going to be eight single crochets. So for the next three rounds, we're going to do eight single crochets. So I'll meet you back at the end of round eight. Once you've finished the arm after round eight, we can lightly stuff it. And then we're going to close up and finish off. So try not to stuff it too much, but just, a mu just about enough to give it some shape. And then we're just going to single crochet across the top to close off the arm and make it a little bit easier to sew onto the body. So four single crochets across and remember to leave a long tail for sewing onto the body later. And then we just need to do that all over again to make our second arm. Once we've got our two arms, we're then going to move on to the ears. So for the ears, we're gonna start again with eight single crochets and a magic ring. So I'm gonna do it how I've been doing it the last few times but feel free to do your magic ring however you prefer. And we're going to close it. And round two is eight increases all the way around. So an increase into each stitch. That's going to take our total up to 16 stitches. Round three, we're going to do three single crochets and an increase, and we're going to repeat that four times to get our total up to 20. So we're going to do three single crochets and then an increase, and then we're going to repeat that all the way around back to our stitch marker. So we should have a total of 20 stitches for rounds four to eight. We're just going to do a single crochet into each stitch and keep our total at 20. So I'll meet you back at the end of round eight. Once you've finished round eight, round nine, we're going to do eight single crochets and a decrease twice. And that's going to take our total down to 18. Three, four, five, seven and eight and then our decrease and then we're going to do that again one two three four five six seven and eight finishing on a decrease Round 10, we're going to do seven single crochets and a decrease again two times to take our total down to 16.
Round 11, we're going to do 16 single crochets. So just a single crochet into each stitch. Round 12, we're going to do six single crochets and a decrease two times to get our total down to 14. And six. Round 13, we're going to do 14 single crochets. We're then going to put both sides together and single crochet across to close both parts and both sides together. Two, three, four, five, six and seven. And then going to fold again like so and single crochet again to hold it in place two and three again fasten off and leave a long tail for sewing onto the head and repeat again to get two ears in total so now we're going to move on to the assembly. So first of all, we're going to sew our arms onto our body. So we're going to grab our yarn needle and we're basically just going to place our arms to the sides of the body like so. So feel free to um, pin them in place if you'd like, but I'm just going to kind of go for it and freestyle it. So we want it just under the neckline. Um, because we're going to join our head to there and we're going to do a few tacks to keep it in place And the same for the other side.
Next, we're going to join our head to our body. So they both have 18 single crochet, so we should be able to just do a stitch into a stitch. Again, feel free to use um, Ami needles or um, pins to keep them in place and not moving, but I just like to go for it. Last but not least, we've just got the ears to put on the top, like so. I'm going to place them between rounds three and four of the head, relatively close to each other, like this. Again, feel free to pin in place. And then after the ears, we will do some face details. Once we've finished off our facial details, feel free to finish off your plushie there, but I'm just gonna add one last detail of a little bow. So we're going to be working in a magic ring when forming our bow. How we're gonna do it is we're going to pull up a chain. We're then gonna start with five chains. So we're gonna chain five, two, three, four, and five. We're then going to do three triple crochets into our magic ring. So we're gonna yarn under like a double crochet, but we're gonna do that twice, like so. We're then gonna take our hook under through our magic ring and yarn and grab our yarn. We're then gonna yarn under again and pull through the first two of our triple crochet. So we should still have three on our hook. Yarn under and pull through the next two and then yarn under and pull through the last two. We're gonna do that two more times. So yarning on over <laughs> two times through our magic ring, pull up. So we should have four loops on our hook. Yarn under and pull through the first two. Yarn under and pull through the next two. And then the last two. And then we're gonna do that one more time Yarning over twice, through the magic ring, pull up, through the first two, second two, and the last. Then we're gonna finish off by chaining five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna slip stitch it back into our magic ring to secure it. That's one side of our bow. We're then gonna repeat that whole thing again on the next side. So we're gonna start by chaining five. And then we're gonna do our three triple crochets. And then we're going to finish off with our chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And slip stitch it into our magic ring. So we should have this funny looking thing. What we're going to do is cut our yarn and pull it through. And then where we can find our magic ring, we're then going to pull our magic ring out. Pull the tail out. And then using this tail, we're then going to pull the magic ring tight. And that's going to close our magic ring to form this little bow shape. 
we can then use this to wrap around our bow to make it a bit more defined and pinch it a bit in the middle like so and then we can secure it in place Again, this is all completely optional, so don't feel like you have to, but it's just a nice little decoration or um, technique to know. And then we're going to attach our bow onto our bunny. There we have our finished bunny plushie, it's super cute and it was a really easy make. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to leave any comments if you struggled with anything or if you want any um, specific tutorials in future. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!